I've got a great OneNote tip to share with you today. I'll show you how you can save web page contents to OneNote while maintaining the correct display structure. And this can be done without a browser plugin or an extension. All you need is an Edge browser and to link your Microsoft email account with OneNote. I'll show you how to set this up, but first, let's quickly review what happens when we use the OneNote extension to save a web clip. I'm doing a little research on a camera and want to save web clips to OneNote. And if you were to use the OneNote web clipper, by default, full page is selected and it takes a few seconds for the preview to load. And as you can see, the web page is not displaying correctly. Okay, and if you were to actually save this to OneNote, so let's select clip. And then bring the OneNote page over. And you can see that a new note page has been added. Let's click on it. Yeah, it's not displaying correctly. This is not what I want to see. So what are some of the other options? Let's click on the OneNote web clipper again, and this time select region. So we can use our mouse to select the region that we want to clip. Unfortunately, we can only select what's showing on the screen. Uh, it doesn't allow us to scroll down and select additional content. So this is not going to work. Okay. So I'm going to hit escape, go back to the OneNote web clipper and we can select article. And in this case, it's only showing the text. It's not grabbing any of the images and it's not grabbing all of the relevant section on this web page. And then lastly, we can bookmark, but essentially this just becomes a link to the page. So none of these options really work for me. I wanted to save the whole web page in the proper display structure to be added to my OneNote note page. So how do we do this then? I'm going to close out of this and click anywhere on the web page. It doesn't have to be this web page, any web page. And we have an option to share within that option. There's a section for email to myself. And remember, you do have to use the Microsoft Edge browser for this. It won't work in Chrome or Firefox or any other browser. It has to be in Edge browser. And you see here that I have an email set up for me at onenote.com. I'm going to show you how you can do this later. But for now, just as an example, I'm going to select this. And we're essentially emailing a copy of this page to OneNote. It's coming from my email. I'm sending this page to me at onenote.com. This is a subject line. And then you have the link to the web page. So I'm going to go ahead and send it. Okay. Now I can close this window. Now, if I go back to OneNote and it looks like the page hasn't made its way through yet. So I'm going to go ahead, file, view sync status and sync all. You can also use the shortcut key F9 for this. I'm going to close. And now you see a new page has been added. It says note to self. I'm going to select it. And now look, granted, this is just an image file. It's not an editable file. You can't select text within it, although you can convert it. Uh, but the important thing is the display structure is maintained. So how do we set this up? There are two steps involved. First, we need to link the email address we want to use with OneNote. Then we just need to add that email address to the Edge browser. Both steps are super simple. Go to onenote.com slash email to OneNote. Then click on set up email to OneNote. You'll have to log into your Microsoft account. Hit next. Then confirm the email address that we have just entered and choose the default notebook and section where you want to save the note to. Then hit save. So anytime we send an email to me at onenote.com from the email address that we have set up here, the note will be saved to the default notebook and the section that we have just defined. 
So this could be a forward of an email or a forward of a web page. Now from your Edge browser, you can right mouse click anywhere on the page and select share. From here, click on add email address where it says email to myself. Choose your email provider. Then type in me at onenote.com. Now we see that the email address has been added. Let's test this out. Let's use a different example. I'm going to navigate out of here. Choose a random product. Okay. Right mouse click. Share. And send to myself. Hit send. Now I'll go to OneNote. And the information just popped up. Click on the new note. It might take a few seconds for it to load. And as you can see, the page has been brought over with the correct structure. Now, if you want to save the page anywhere other than the default notebook and section that we defined earlier, you can simply add an at followed by the section name in the subject line. Let's try that. So right mouse click share me at onenote.com. So at the end of the section line, I'm just going to add the at symbol and the section name. For me, it's going to be research. Hit send. We'll bring up OneNote. I'm going to go to the research section. Might have to refresh this. Sync all. There we go. Note to self. And it does take a few seconds. I don't know why for it to load. If you're using the Windows 10 version of OneNote, it might load faster. And of course, if you want to change the default notebook altogether, you can go back to OneNote.com slash email to OneNote. And then from here, click on set up email to OneNote again. Log in. And then you can reselect the default location, your notebook, as well as the section. And as I mentioned earlier, we can save emails to OneNote as well. All you have to do is just forward an email to me at OneNote.com and hit send. And that will appear in your OneNote note page. But honestly, I think for emails, the OneNote add-on for Outlook works just fine. There's really no compelling reason for you to use the email forward uh, function here. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thanks, and bye for now.